All right, and then I'll set my timer. Uh, we'll have our timer to work with. So roll your shoulders back and around and get some big circles. I don't know what you guys have been up to over the past couple of days. Well, I do know what Michelle was up to <laughs> and reverse that. So she tells somebody's not on mute. Who's that? Um, Sin, I'll just go ahead and mute you. Okay, sweet. That's okay. I love hearing from you. Just, it just, it appears so well. And then big shoot up with the arms, hips, uh, go back and down. So, um, I know Michelle did a workout yesterday and said, why can't we have this other music thing on? And, the, um, it comes with a third, actual third, I have to use a whole different thing to get that music on. So I'm going to work on that as best I can for you guys. I'm um, getting the music back on in three, two, and one. When I get back to Florida, let's rotate. I will play around a little bit more with music and stuff. Punch your arms out into the front. You can also have your own music on in the background, by the way. You know, no harm to me. Twist and pivot your body. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch the arms all the way up. Squat down, hands down. Press your hips back. Straighten your legs and fold. Bend your knees, reach the arms out. Come all the way up and do that again. Squat down, hinge forward, bring the arms down. Straighten the legs, look forward, bend the knees, come back, and reach up with the bent knee, arms up. And bend the knees, hip forward, straighten up. Oh. Bend the knees, reach out, come all the way up. And we'll do that one more time, come down. This time we're gonna stay down. Straight legs, bend the knees again. Straight legs and walk your hands just a little further out in front of you, come up onto your tippy toes and lower your heels. If you're not on the floor, you can be on a bench or a chair or a ball. Lower the heels. Take the right hand to the left foot, chin ankle. Twist. And come on back to center. Twist the other side. And come on back to center. Walk your hands back in, hands on thighs, bend the knees. Arch your back and then round your back. Scoop out your tailbone. Extend your spine. Round your back. Extend your spine, round your back this time. Take your hands in front of you, reach it round, round, round. Stretch all the way up to standing. Stretch to the right side, come back in, stretch to the left side, come back in, and grab a set of weights, one weight or two weights. This is gonna be a moderate to heavy set of weights. We're gonna start with squats. I'm hoping that my, um, my plan A works. If not, there's always a plan B. We're gonna go from squats to alternating lunges. Um, so you can use one weight or two weights. If you're using one weight, you can hold it in any style that you want. Goblet style underneath the chin, hands by your side with two weights, shoulders overhead, no weights at all. All right, let's see if this timer thing is going to work for us. And um, I'm going to give you a 10 seconds to get yourself ready. You might even hear this from my watch. Just squats until I tell you to rest. You might hear the... the noises, go, squat. So you've got 20 seconds of squatting. You can count the reps because um, you should. <laughs> and this is by no means has to be high intensity. In other words, you don't have to rush through it. You don't have to jump through it. You want to jump, you're welcome to jump and rest. Go right into, um, in 10 seconds, we're going to go alternating side to side lunges. All right, so forward, back, side, side to side, whichever ones you want. Ready? Go. So you got 20 seconds here. We're alternating from one exercise to the other. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of recovery. I think we have four sets. I meant to give us five, but that's okay. So you only do as many as you can in the 20 seconds. And rest. Good. All right. I don't know if you can hear that. Get ready for your second set of squats. Legs, hips width apart. And go. Drop your hips down, chest up. Weight goes back to your heels. Yeah, any which way you're doing this, any which way you're holding um, onto the weights, or no weights at all. And if you're not squatting, you can do some bridges or calf raises. And rest. Back to the lunges, alternating. Either front back, you can go front and back. I wouldn't stay on one side. 
just in case. Let's go. Good. I mean, you can stay on one side as long as you're going to remember to switch sides each time. And it should work out fine that way. But, you know. And rest. Good. All right, round three, same thing. Nothing different. Legs apart, toes maybe turned out. Three, two, we go. Try to get, if you're holding a weight like I am, try to get your hands, your elbows, inside of your thighs. And again, you don't have to go fast. I'd rather the reps be good quality than quick, right? And rest. All right, third set of lunges. So I do believe we have um, a couple more of those. Ready? Go. Maybe I did set it the right way. We'll see. Keep it going. Anything you're doing with the lunges. And rest. All right. Yeah, we're back to some squats. Legs apart. Get ready in three, two, go. How's my Holly, Laura? She in there with you today? <sighs> my doggy. I'm not sure she's going to be happy to see me or just sad to have you go. <laughs> Aw. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Alternating lunges. Get ready. And go. Now, I may have given us, shouldn't have been, an extra rest. No, we're done. Okay, it worked out just well. All right, good. That's your squat lunges. The next thing we're going to do is going to be, um, you know what? I'll give us a, um, an upper body to change it up. So we'll do bent over rows and rear delt flies. You do have 10 seconds in between um, sides or, or exercises. So if you choose to go to a lighter weight for your rear delts or heavier, whichever way you want to go with it, then you'll have time. All right, so let's continue and start again. Pick up your 10 seconds to your bent over rows. You can always change weights at any time you want. Count your reps to start. See how many you got. Let's go. Work. Squeeze the elbows together, shoulders back. Stay strong on it. Abs in nice and tight. Ribs to hips, three, two, and one. Good, if you wanna change for a lighter set of weights for your rear delts, um, go ahead and do that. We're going in just about three seconds. Bend over, here we go. So it's nice to count the reps and see if you can maintain the quality of the reps in how many reps you're doing. Or you get a few extras in, but not with sloppy work. And rest. You have time to put the weights down for like a split second if you'd like to do that or just hold on to them. And because here it goes again, number two, row. Now, 10 seconds is not a whole lot of time, except when it's like, you know, you're 10 seconds away from the finish line. But in terms of our rest, don't get too comfy because it comes back quickly. And one. The idea is we want to stay as high in our intensities as we can maintain with a little bit of break in between. Rear delts. Go. Keep it going. Tuck your chin to your chest if you feel tension in your neck. Go to lighter weights, go to no weights, and use bands if you're using them, and rest. 
Okay, halfway through. <sighs> See your heart rate goes up. Should be going up. Get ready. Go, row. Elbows together. Or not together, but they squeeze together. And rest. Rear delt flash. Get ready. Bend over, knees bent. Three, two, go. Well, I'm glad I figured out the timer. So when I'm not home, I can do it. But I haven't figured out the music that much. And rest. Good. Should be heading into our final segment. Bent over rows. Three, two, go. Tuck your chin to your chest if you feel tension in your neck. Keep going. Two and one. I mean, you should be getting a good, you know, anywhere eight plus reps, perhaps. Rear delt should be our last. Go. Work. I'm counting. And rest. Okay. Good job. Shake it out. Roll it out. Stretch it out. Grab some water, perhaps. Perhaps. We'll make this next round deadlifts with or without weights. Slow and control down. No rounding in the back. Keep the chest open. Hips go back. Stand up. That's your first exercise. Deadlifts. No weights or weights. You can have them on your shoulders or down by your side. Hands behind your head. Good mornings. So deadlift, we go all the way down, slight bend in the knee. Good mornings, we come parallel to the floor and come back up. All right? You can use weights or no weights. It's your choice. Um, you got 10 seconds. 10 seconds for your deadlifts. I'm just going to stick with one weight on this one today. All right? You'll hear the note. Three, two, one. Let's go. Deadlift. All the way up, all the way down. When you come up, squeeze your glutes. Stick your chest out, stick your booty out. Good, looking good, guys. Keep looking forward, do not look down to the floor. Three, two, and one, good. I'm just gonna put my weight down, put my hands behind my head, or out to the sides, or even down by your side here. Hinge forward, three, two, go. So come just parallel to the floor. There's still a soft bend in the knee, but we're not hinging all the way down. We're keeping the back, back flat and lengthened here. Hips go back, squeeze the top again. Abs nice and tight, core lifted. Three, two, and one. Good. Going back to the deadlift. One or two weights. You choose. You have just enough time to switch weights and go three, two, go. Um, I already forgot, is this round two or three? <laughs> I think it's three. No, I think maybe it's two. But we'll find out, because the timer will tell us. All right, back to the good mornings. Good morning. Hands behind your head. Three, two, go. Good. Body parallel to the floor. Stand up nice and tall. Good release for the back. Stay on it. Three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, back to the um, deadlift. Go. Try to get out in front of your toes, 
or on top of your toes to your toes. Shoulders back, chest open, hips back. Drive through it. And one. All right. Good morning. Hands behind your head. Go. I don't know if you can hear the, you should be able to hear this from my watch. Stay strong, get a nice stretch in the back, and rest. Last round, deadlifts. How are we doing? All right, in three, two, we go. Work. Work, 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 work. Good, long stretch. Three, two, one. Okay, last time for that. Last time for good mornings. Get ready. Three, two, go. Annoying, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Good. Stay with it. Couple more. Three, two, and one. Good. All right. Session complete. Session complete. We're into biceps and hammers. Same idea. So the biceps, palms are forward. If you need to rotate, you rotate. Maybe the weight's too heavy, you go lighter. And then hammers, two arms, alternating arms, cross body. I'll let you choose which you would like to do. All right, so you'll get this about 10 seconds. Uh, I'm not giving you a whole long recovery, um, so we can move quickly. All right, here we go, 10 seconds, bicep curls. Now, I'm probably gonna change my weights midway through. Let's see. Three, two, bicep curls. One, curl up. Again, count your reps. Make sure you're not swinging your waist behind you. That's what I want to see. No swing, no swing. Control. Turn your palms. If you can, Cindy, keep your arms up the whole time. I think you can. I think you can. I think you can. And rest. Going into the hammer curls. So palms face your body on the hammer curls. All right, in three, two, go. Again, you can go cross body, one arm at a time. You can go one arm at a time. You can do two arms, not cross body. Same thing with biceps. You can go single arms if you need to. Three, three, two, one. Single arm. If the weights are that heavy that you have to rotate your shoulder, you may choose to go with a single arm. All right, number two, go. I just want to see what you guys are doing. All the way down, full range of motion. Yeah, don't use your back, use your core. And rest. All right, hammer time. Da, 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 da. Can't touch this. All right, three, two, go. Work. Work. Three, two, rest. You might want to let this go. Um, I'm going to change that up. All right, biceps. Go. Full range. Don't use your back, son. Don't use your back. Stay strong. Just use your arms. Three, two, and rest. Hammer time. Back means we're kind of swinging like this to get the weights up. Ready? Three, two, go. Two, 
So you'll notice some exercises you get a lot of reps in and some you don't get that many reps in, depending on the weight, depending on the movement, whatever you're doing is perfect. Use your core. Three, two, one. Last round coming up. Last round, best round. Okay. Bicep curls. Here we go. There you go. Keep moving. Three, two, one. Last round of hammer pose, and we're going to take it to the floor. Rest. Now, when he says rest, you should be resting. Go. Now, hammer. Good row. Three, four, full range. Straighten those arms at the bottom. If not, maybe the weight's too heavy. Rather you have good form than do those heavy weights incorrectly. Three, two, and one. Good work, guys. Take it down to the floor. Take your water, take your weights. Let me just make sure I can be seen over here from everybody needing me. Okay. So, I'll even take my sheet down to the floor. Okay. So, we're going to do um, a lightweight and a heavy weight, either two. One light weight is only needed, and two heavier weights or even one heavy weight is good. So the first exercise, again, a light weight nearby, and this one on the light weights, we're going to alternate right side, left side. So we'll be doing two on the right, two on the left at the end of the set. Um, first one we're going to do is a skull crusher, and the skull crusher could be to your forehead, you're on your back, to your forehead, to your shoulders, or behind your head. If you have one weight, Take it to your forehead or just behind your back. The shoulders don't move. They stay in one place. The elbow joint is what moves, okay? So let's go ahead with that. Have one or two heavy weights and one light weight nearby. Uh, Maria, hard to see you, but I'll go with it. And Cindy, yeah. But Cindy, we never know what your camera's doing, so it's hard. Um, all right, we've got 10 seconds to get on your back. Light weight nearby. Get ready. And legs can be wherever you want them. All right, skull crushes go. Now pull the belly in, abs and ribs down. Again, bend the arms, but don't move the the shoulders. Just bend the elbows. So the arms could be to your forehead or behind your head or your shoulders, and rest. All right, switch weights to a lightweight unless you're using a lightweight. Put it in your right hand. It's going to go over in front of you to the left side. So right weight, go. To the left side, elbow. Hold on to your elbow so it doesn't move. It's still the extension and bending or flexion of the elbow joint. And now you'll know why I said go with a lightweight. Make sure you're doing this. I know Michelle knows these, Karen knows these. And good, rest. Go back to your heavier set of weights. Back to your skull crushers. Again, your legs can be where you need them at any point. And begin. Work. Work. Belly. So the tendency when we're on our backs like this is to kind of arch our back. So you really want to pull the belly in and bring the ribs down. Three, two, and one. Okay, now you're going to take the weight in your left hand. The light weight in your left hand. Bring it across your body to the shoulder. Three, two, go. So try not to, you don't have to bring the arm behind your head like we can do standing. You can bring it right in front of your face to the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, these are just, these are just, these are just awful. Okay? No matter how you look at it. Right? Okay, go back to your heavy weights, however you're doing that. All right, ready, set, go. Three, two, one. Work. 
work. Work, the man says, belly in, ribs down. I wonder if I can change this voice like I could change Siri's voice. I have to experiment with that too. Keep it going. Three, two, and one. Okay, lightweight in the right hand. Good thing I can remember, right? Okay, right hand. If I don't remember, I know you guys do. Ready, set, three, two, go. Work. Work. Stay with it. Three, two, and rest. Back to your heavy set. This should be your last one of the tricep skull crushers. Ready, set. And begin. Make it your best set. Breathe, belly in, ribs down, all the same things. You can have your legs in tabletop. You could be in a bridge to work more of that back chain. You like that sometimes. Three, two, and one. Rest. And the last time on the left side. Left side. Arms up, arm up. Hold on to the elbow and begin. So you want to just press the weight straight up to the ceiling. Stay on it. Woo, three, two, and rest. Session complete. All right, we'll do a set of crunches, any kind of crunch you want. We're gonna be doing them four times. So any kind of crunch you want, and then the second exercise will be bicycles or single leg stretch. You choose what works best for you. If you want a straight leg, that's fine. A little bit of um, creative freedom in this set, okay? Crunches any way that you like them, and um, bicycles or something, some reasonable facsimile there. You got 10 seconds. In fact, I'm gonna have to roll this up a little bit. All right, hands behind the head or wherever you're going with your crunches, go. Pull the belly in, ribs down. If you have your legs up, same idea, same thing. Keep your elbows out to the side, don't pull on your neck. Your, head, your hands are just supporting the weight of your head. Three, two, and one. Good. Now you have your bicycle. You can also have your legs on the floor for the bicycles, right? Or just do single legs straight. Get ready. If the bicycles are happening, knees over hips the whole time. Go. Good. Try not to bring the knees all the way into the chest. Try to keep them over your hips. Three, two, one. Back to the crunches in 10 seconds. However you want your crunches done. Legs up, legs down, straight legs. Three, two, go. You can keep them little tiny pulses here, or you can go up and down, right? Pull the belly in, the ribs down, look down your belly and just notice that like nothing's preaching out there and your hands are just supporting the weight of your head. Three, two, and one, rest. All right. Bicycles are some reasonable facsimile. You can even keep your legs, I'll show you here, without moving. So you can even just go side to side with your elbows to the outside of the opposite knee, but if you want to add the extension of the leg, keep the knee over the hip. Make it more challenging to you in a good way. Three, two, and one. Ooh. Okay. Rest. Crunches. I'm just doing a nice little spinal twist. All right, crunches. Here we go. So you can do the pulses. You don't need your hands behind your head. Right, they can stay right here, outside your legs, whatever. You know, you know enough about doing a crunch that you can play with the variety without me having to give it to you right now because there's too many to mention. And rest. 
Ooh. But I'll tell you what. Maybe it's just vacation mode, but I felt those. Legs up, ready for your bicycles. Three, two, go. I have to say this is like the hardest floor in the world. I hope my floor is not that hard or for you. Three, two, and rest. All right. I believe this is our final set. And then we'll move into the chest press. Tilt your pelvis. Here we go. Little tiny pulses. Legs can be up too. Legs can be straight up. Legs can be out. You can do a hollow hold. Not for me, but you can. Good, good, good. Three, two, and rest. And your last set of bicycles. Rest. Last set of bicycles. Legs up or not. We go. Reach up to your leg. Don't bring the leg to you as much. Keep it over your hips, Karen. That means your upper body has to lift up and rotate a little bit higher. Three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, everybody, do a spinal twist. Legs over to the left, open up your right side. Nice. Come back to center and do the other side. We'll get a nice little cover stretch going in a minute. Okay, our last set of um, upper body work is going to be a chest press and flies, right? Or you can do a, a close grip chest press or a pullover if you choose. All right, so let's get that going. 10 seconds, heavy weights would be good. All right, here we go. On your back, legs where you need them, arms up in three. Two, one, go. So, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I like to have my legs in tabletop off the floor because it gives me the best imprint of my spine. Three, two, one. Now it's gonna be flies. They're still heavy if you can maintain the heavy weight. All right? Same thing with your legs. Arms up. Three, two, go. Work. Slow and controlled on the opening of the arms. Nothing quick. Three, two, and one. So when you're doing your flies, don't go down quickly. Take your time going out. Arms up, chest press. Three, two, go. Work. Work. Stay with it. Three, two, and one. All right, chest flies. Yeah, I gotta watch you guys and see what's going on. All right, get ready on your back. Not yet, bro. <laughs> okay, go. Palms open. Good. Good. Good placement of your body so that your back is imprinted. Keep it moving. Three, two, and one. All right, you're halfway through. Rest. You know the rest is just enough time. Pick up your waist and go. Work, 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 work. Now, you know, I don't have a whole lot of weights here, but if you guys can go heavier, you have it. Go heavier. If you've got to go lighter, go lighter. Three, two, and one rest. Round three flies. After this, you have just one more little piece of work. Arms up, three, two, and go. Mm. 
Nice work, guys. Looking good. Three, two, and one. Last round. Last round. Last chance. <clears throat> Arms up. Legs up. You can even cross your ankles. And go. Getting tiring, isn't it? Weights are getting heavy. Three, two, and one. Weights are getting heavy. Last set. Arms up. Three, two, and go. Nice control. That's probably good. You probably need the day off tomorrow. Do a little stretching. Three, two, and one. Okay, all done. Session complete. Good. We've got one more thing that we're going to do. And it's on your belly. <clears throat> so, move your weights out to the side. You don't need them. Some of you may choose to use them, I know. Um, you're going to lay down on your belly. I just want to make sure everybody can see me. So we're going to do a Superman, but with like a, um, a lat pull. So Superman is one. Cobra up and down is two. Okay? I think the camera can see me. So let's get that started. This is our final set because... You know, when you do a lot of flexion, you got to do some extension. All right, 10 seconds. No weights needed. Super person. Legs and arms, or arms only, or legs only, or just hold it. Three, two, we go. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, and one. Good. You can rest, just turn your toes in, shimmy your hips from side to side. Arms are gonna come by your chest. You can take your fingers off the floor, off the mat, and just lift your chest up, go. Just a nice cobra stretch. You can go up and down or hold the cobra. This is a little bit more about your back rather than your chest and shoulders arms. So extend your spine. Try not to think of it like a regular push-up. And rest. Again, shimmy your hips side to side. Back to the super person. So what we're doing is extending the spine as opposed to doing that push away from the floor. All right, here we go. Three, two, go. Head in line with your spine. My head, I'm just looking up at you guys. That's why my head is up. But otherwise, I want you to keep your head in line with your spine. Nice, Maria. Keep your chin down a little bit more. There you go. That's it. Nice, nice row. Good, Michelle. Good, Karen, Cindy, I'm not sure, I can't tell. <laughs> Lauren, great. All right, rest. Cobra push-ups. We call cobra push-ups, but they're really not so much a push-up. Think about using, rather than your hands, use your back strength. So try not to make it like a regular push-up. I know it's, a, it's hard to differentiate, but good row. Hard to differentiate the movements. Three, two, and rest. Just let your head rest on your arms, shimmy your hips from side to side. This also will stretch out the ab muscles that we used a moment ago. All right, super person, go. Work. Now when you come up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Really try to pull them to the midline of your upper back or middle of the back. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Rest. Cobra push-up. We go. This and one more round. Arms out to the side. Good. Extend your spine. Good. So again, don't push the ground away with your hands like you would in a push-up. Push your pubic bone into the floor and extend your spine. Same thing you're doing on your belly for the Superman. Only we have a little assistance from the arms. 
but we don't want to make it a push up, push up. Three, two, and rest. Let it go. Last round. Rest. Rest, rest, rest. Three, two, and go. Last set. You can lift your legs or not. I, I did half and half. Three, two, one. Good. Last round. Cobra push-ups. Get ready. Three, two, go. Good. So if those of you who haven't had an opportunity to get to a lot of yoga, this is always a nice way of getting that back extension. Three, two, one. Ooh. Now sit all the way back on your heels for child pose. Session complete. Session complete. Workout complete. Sit all the way back down. Stretch your arms out and your hips back. I might add that was like the perfect timing. So. Come back to your hands and knees. Tabletop position. Arch your back. And exhale, round your back. Pull the belly into the spine, spread your shoulders apart. Inhale, drop your belly, arch your back. Exhale, round and curl. Pull the belly in, squeeze your shoulder blades apart. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Come back to center, walk your hands forward, bring your head down, hips up. Nice stretch here once again for your chest, shoulders. And then walk your hands back a little bit closer, tuck your toes underneath you, lift your hips up, find the downward dog, bend one knee then the other. And then come on back, just lift up onto both sets of toes, lower both heels. Soften your knees, walk your hands, and feet to, towards each other, whichever way you decide to go. I'm just going to move this up. And come up to standing, roll your shoulders back and around. Stay with me. Stretch your arms up overhead. Grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Lift up and over. Bump your hips a little bit today. Ah. Come back to center. Arms up and over. Oh, Karen, probably have to go to work. Bump your hips to the right. Come back to center. Arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, palms together, knuckles down with your chest. Soften the knees, forward fold, bring the arms up over your head. Shake out your head, yes and no. Let the arms go and dangle, tuck the chin into the chest. Press through the floor, roll up through your spine. Take a big breath and bring your arms over overhead. Lean to the right side, exhale. Come back, lean to the left side, exhale. Come back center, open the arms. Give yourself a pat on the back, both sides. Stay strong, stay fit, stay healthy.